Okay, so in this video, what I'm going to be doing is just installing testssl.sh uh, because you can run it directly in Windows if you can be bothered to go to all the trouble of installing OpenSSL and then um, getting the DLLs in the right place, etc. But an easier way of doing it is just running it within the Windows subsystem for GNU, as I call it. And I already have the open SUSE installed here. So what I was just going to do was to um, just quickly install it inside here to show you a, a, you know, a way to easily do it if you're still running Windows 10. And if you want sort of the command line instructions that I'm going to use, um, you can go to my website into applications used. And then if you just choose the one below, which is installing test ssl.sh and so basically it's just a few basic um, commands to But anyway, that's just in case you don't have, um, so if you need to install git into it, um, then you can, yeah. And so, so the next thing to do is, uh, with open source, uh, open source or whatever they're called, um, test ssl.sh, you can't get it as a package. So basically you just have to clone the repository well, the easy thing is just to clone the repository. Yeah, I've gotten to use to X where, um, yeah, so this is the other annoying thing about the Windows shell. I don't know what's going on. Right, so that's just downloading the you know, the repository. I mean, the mill is quite big, so. Um, but they, on, on their website, there is a command you can use which shows you a way of cloning just a small snapshot of it. But the reason I've done this whole lot is just because of something I'm going to be doing in a later video. Right, and so now. If you just change to the directory, and then essentially you can just run it. So I'm going to just run it against my website. See how see how well I've done when it comes to setting up the SSL on it. All right, I forgot to full stop at the beginning. Actually, let me just just want to check something. Yeah. 
That's strange because he's supposed to. He's supposed to use the um. He's supposed to use the SSL, which is sorry, the open SSL, which is in bin, but for some reason he's using the default one. So um, let me just. I think there's a there's a command. Dash, all right, so it's dash dash open SSL. Yeah, so basically for some reason it's using the system one, whereas normally uh, when I used it before, it did actually use the one that comes in the bin directory. So now I just have to specify it manually. So you saw before when I ran it, it said it had 64 ciphers. So just see if this one makes a difference. But I see what they're saying about, um, yeah, see it says 183 ciphers now, whereas before it was 64. So that's why I'm using the binary, which is um, in the, um, that comes in the, direct, you know, the, the sort of GitHub directory. Well, it seems to think I'm reasonably okay so far. You have to be having enabled HSTS because if you enable that on the wrong site, um, it won't let you connect with HTTP. So I do still want people to connect with normal HTTP connections, and you'll see why later on as well. Yeah, it says here potentially not okay. So you think because it's in Reddit, it's actually bad, but what this is, is if you look it up, you'll find out that if you use um, Gzip compression in HTTP, there's some way in which they can tell the size of the data or something like that. So it's not that they can actually read the encrypted data, it's just that they can guess things about it. And so, of course, with security people being paranoid, they look on that as a problem. But, but it doesn't actually mean that they can really get anything from your server. Well, actually, this version seems different because the version that I've run before would have the old versions of Android, like 2.2, .2, I think, and 4.3, which 
which basically don't support TLS uh, one one point one and above. So, so as you see here, so basically XP is out for SSL connections, and even if you're using IE eight for some reason, Windows seven, which no one really would be. So you need at least that Vista um, to actually be able to. Uh, connects to what they call the most using the most secure protocols. Mm, so, you know that. So basically, that's a way that you can check that the SSL setup on your server is at least decent. And yes, you might think with this one, oh, I need to disable HTTP compression yet, yeah, but now you're going to get bad scores on page speed because your page sizes are now going to be bigger. So you have to like make a decision on whether you want to get a good page speed call or score or to get rid of this error. But personally, I think it's hardly worth the bother. It's better to serve smaller sort of gzipped um, assets rather than worrying about this HTTP compression thing in, in OpenSSL. I mean, obviously, unless you've got some government after you, in which case your website's not going to be something they're really going to be caring that much about. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.